go. Oh, yes, college basketball. How about those Spartans? <gasps> Everybody's bracket is destroyed. It seemed like that was the thing to talk about nationally. They would say the Spartans, the Spartans, and the Spartans. They lost. <laughs> I picked them to win. Did you pick them to win? Like I, I had played them in, my, in, in the final four. Guests, silently, did you do a bracket? No. <laughs> Our intern is here. Former intern of the Free Bear Not Wing Show. We'll introduce that person momentarily. Uh, but yeah, unbelievable. Middle Tennessee State, 15 beats a 2. Ugh! Day one was full of upsets. This is amazing when this happens. Every single year, there's always this Cinderella thing. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Welcome in to Friday from the uh, Labette Blue Light Studio and uh, Joseph Reed, TC Paintball Studio. Thank you so much for joining us as we do this wild thing once again. This crazy, homespun, folksy podcast. And we talked about having a guest for today's show. So, I think now it is time to bring out our special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome <laughs> the one and only Margaret! <laughs> Come here. <laughs> so good to see you. You too. Wow. Thanks for having me. Oh, the pleasure is mine. The pleasure is mine. I can't believe it. Uh, isn't our studio fancy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we need lights. I need oh, lights. Um, yeah. right. Wait, that's my job. Yes, Which it one? is your job. This one? Both of them. All of them. All the lights. I just, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, I think I did, but I ordered my podcast studio. I ordered, <laughs> like, mics and a board and uh, lights and this super cool camera. This camera's amazing. It, uh, it doesn't even, they haven't even um, sh made, sent the first shipment out yet. Mm -hmm. It's by a company called Movie, M-O-V-I. The live something, I don't know, it's something great. Uh, and it looks, it, it's ridiculous. It's like this big and it does everything. So uh, I'll be able to do live things. I can do live things now, but this is going to be really great. So the whole podcast thing is taken off and I talked to the nerds. You saw my website or the, yes. uh, the uh, logo. Yeah. The nerds are building the website right now. Um, so yeah, that's all, that's all part of it. So this is the early stages of it and you're here. Let's talk a little bit, Margaret, about, um, not to like start off weird, but <laughs> getting fired from the Free Bear and Outwing show. That, even now, for me, I still can't believe it that I don't work with those boys anymore. What, did, what was going on with you as this story unfolded? Because a lot of people were talking about it. Um, I don't think I'd ever gotten as many text messages as I had that day. Everyone, where's Zane? Where's Zane? What's happening with Zane? And I... Don't, didn't know what I was supposed to say, if I could say anything, so I was just like, oh, you're going to have to wait and see. <laughs> and what, were, you, were you at home when this started to unfold? Were you at work? Um, I was at work. Is and that, I, now, is that the day that the boys announced it? Um, it was a Tuesday. I believe so. I believe it was the Monday. Uh, but, well, there was a week that I was gone. Yeah, and then that was just... And then the, the Monday was President's Day. Oh, then it was And then the Tuesday, Tuesday yeah. was the day that they announced it. My friends thought something was up for before that, so and I guess there was speculation, but oh, it was man. just yeah, that was different. that was awful. I still can't believe it. I can't believe uh, that it happened. Yeah. I can't believe that uh, it's over. Frankly, you know, considering the history that we that we have, mm -hmm. you know, and with all those people, I think that was one of the one of the things that, in addition to the shock of losing, you know, something you built forever, mm -hmm. uh, just like that. And then th there was the residual of all the people that I enjoyed, you know, seeing at the radio station. Um, just, it was just a lot. There was a lot going on. It fried my brain for the longest time. It was... Uh, I can't imagine. Yeah. But um, there was, um, I think a lot of good things came out of it. I mean, I, I, after the dust settled, I started to feel a little better. And doing this... And when things like when you and your friends made all those signs at the <laughs> hockey game, that was big because that was, it was still a very fresh wound at the time. And this, that was huge. When you guys lifted me up, that was great. And then all the outpouring was, was tremendous. So between that and my family, um, it's, it's, been, uh, it's, been, it's helped out a lot. Good. So thank I'm you. Glad. You're welcome. So where do you work? What do you do? I am living the dream as a receptionist at a doctor's office. In the hood. 
Why did I think you work with cats? I wish I worked with cats. I was thinking about starting actually a daycare for children and cats at my house, but then there's probably like some health code issues. Children and cats. Well, because most kids like cats and cats are easy to take care of, so. It makes you sound like you're a predator when you say it. That, that actually does make me sound very, <laughs> very off my rocker. So how far have you gotten in your radio career? It's been kind of on, on again, off again. I mean, are you, um, do you still officially work with Town Square? Yeah. Okay. I am a promotions assistant and... Is it going to get you in trouble to be here? Okay. I hope not. Well, I have nothing bad to say to them. <laughs> I mean, I, I, there was, I was given a nice send-off. I was never <laughs> told not to. <laughs> okay, I hope not. Well, I mean, there wouldn't be anything disparaging said anyway, so... Um, but, okay, so you, you work in, in, the, in the, you said the reception area? Yeah, the doctor's office, yeah. Okay, and then in, as a promotions assistant with the radio station. And I was doing overnights for a little while, but that was just too okay. much with full-time job. Okay, so on the air a little bit. Now, didn't you get a job after the internship up in Ludington, Michigan? I did. Um, they had me do um, like three or four shifts, and one of them was New Year's Eve from like five o'clock to one o'clock in the morning, and so I was by myself alone in a studio for New Year's Eve, so that was really... It was scary? Really, it wasn't <laughs> scary, it was just lonely, depressing. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, was, what was the music that they played on that radio um, station? It was Top 40. Okay. And I got to pick what I played, which was nice. Really? Was just, mm -hmm. Oh, that's old school. There was an InSync Power Hour. The what? InSync. Like a full power hour. <laughs> a little One Direction. Wow, sounds great. It was. Um, well, what I did was, I came up with a show plan. And there's a commercial on the last, the last thing. That's just as a reminder. But there's five things worth mentioning. Some are better than others. Some of them are just minor things. But I figured you, as a pseudo producer for a day, you can basically tell me what to talk about. Okay? Okay. So basically just pick any one of the five and then we'll start and we'll hit all five things. So you tell me what on that list something you would like to discuss. If you can't read my writing, just let me know. Um, cat tree. Okay. The last time we were here, did you watch yesterday's episode? Parts of it. Okay, remember there was a tree here? Stuart Postema, the, the, uh, the uh, Dutch lawn giant, brought me an apple tree in here. And I told, I told the story about how the cats, uh, Lincoln, dug into it and took a dump in the tree. <laughs> Fertilized it? You so I put a bag around it and like attached it to the thing. And then this morning I woke up and he had ripped it open and did it again. Tin foil, from what I've been told. They supposedly don't like the noise of tin foil, and if you put it in plants, then they won't. Is but, that right? Yeah, but my cats do it anyway. Uh, well, anyway, I put the tree outside. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we might end up giving the tree away. Remember, I made him buy that tree? Yes. Okay. But so, maybe we can try the foil trick, and then if not. Yeah, but then we still have an apple tree. We should just throw it to the chipper right now. That's what we should no, do. No, that's why it was an expensive tree. Maybe we should... An apple tree? Maybe we can I auction it off. He's Dutch. It costs like two bucks. <laughs> Maybe we should auction it off. Auction off the apple tree. You yeah. can, like... If someone, was gonna bring, if someone was going to buy freaking Daisy's Kong, okay. shoot up Kong, gonna, I think they would buy listen, a brand new apple tree. The Eric Zane uh, show uh, shit auction. We're going <laughs> <we're gonna> to <laughs> auction off shit. We're going to auction off the dog's chewed Kong and that stupid tree that cost <laughs> post about two bucks. Engrave your initials in it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. There's good like into the tree? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good idea. This is going down. Yes. I don't know. We'll just do it by, by eBay or some shit. But we got to get rid of this stuff. Because the tree is a fiasco. I don't want it in the house ever again. There's a <laughs> shit all over the carpet. It's a nightmare. By the way, thanks to the people who've already produced GIFs of me catching... Did you see that? That was crazy. That Whoa. was reflexes. Unbelievable. Hit it with this arm and then caught it with this arm. It seems impossible. I don't know how you did I it. think it kind of tipped slowly is what it did. I think so. And your arm is kind of making that motion Whoa. anyway. So maybe it's Yeah. Just... Uh, fresh face beer peddler Mark, he, he sent a WTF to me. It's like, shut up, Mark. It was an accident, for God's sake. Unbelievable. I'm not going to take this shit from these sponsors pushing me around. Okay. Um, 
Jackie and Ernie. Oh my god, I am so glad she is not here for this story. <laughs> what happened? You don't know about this. No, I guess I I've don't. been sitting on this. I was going to do it yesterday, but this is perfect because I have two ladies here who I can address this with. I've been anxious to tell this story. Do they know about this? No. Okay. But they're involved, obviously. Why are you looking at me like that? That's well, because I think we have something that needs to be discussed. Oh, uh-oh. Okay. Two nights ago, see, Ernie, a lot of the times he spends a night here. Actually, somebody asked, How'd you, what's, er, what's the situation with Ernie? Er, boy, why does Ernie stay here? Because we love him so much? I, that, I love Ernie here. I mean, this, yeah. he is my son to me. I, right. I'm disappointed if he doesn't stay here. I, you know, I, we treat him like he's one of our kids. Absolutely. Um, but I think, I think he's just very comfortable here, isn't he? He's very comfortable here. Same way, right, same reason why Jackie stays here when she has her daughter. Yeah. They just I love like it. to stay here once I, in a while. You know, which we love. I mean, and yeah. everybody gets along, um, and so that's great. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Um, so two nights ago, I. For some reason, at like one in the morning, I got up. Do you remember what I did? Oh yeah, you had to feed the bunny. I realized that the bunny, I was going to feed the bunny and I had forgotten to feed the rabbit. Okay. So I walked into the, I was gonna walk in the room and, and feed the bunny. Uh -huh. I walked in and I opened the door and you know that twin mattress? There's a twin mattress next to Jackie's bed. And for the longest time, Ernie would sleep downstairs on that mattress. But as time would pass, somehow that mattress wound upstairs. <laughs> and there was a time, actually, that I, I got, I was like, no, no, that's, remember? I yeah, said, no. Something, something happened, maybe it was with... I said, no, it's probably better if you sleep downstairs on the mattress, mm -hmm. okay? But as it would progress, that mattress wound up there, and I, I didn't mind. I, yeah, didn't, I mean, cause something happened. Something, something happened that he had to, and I don't know if it's because. Yeah. Oh, I know. Um, Aubrey and Jim lived here. Remember, they moved downstairs. Okay, so it was Jim, Aubrey, and the two babies downstairs. And there wasn't a bed in this spare bedroom anymore. Okay. So he didn't have anywhere to sleep. I mean, I guess he could have put How about the mattress that? in there. Like a lot of people a whole house. family with, with my grandkids downstairs. And then Jacqueline, Madison, Ernie, and us. So, okay, so it's just like a slumber party at Jackie's house, right? Right. Or Jackie's room. Right. I go in there, and he's not in the bed. Because he was in her bed. Did you say anything to him? Not at the time. I figured I'd tell you right now. Hmm. Well, I bet you they're just probably it's probably just like a carryover from Honduras because they got used to it in Honduras. That's another thing we need to talk about. <laughs> I had no say in this. They go to Honduras. I go. So what's the sleeping arrangement? <laughs> yeah. She wanted them to see what he wanted them to sleep like because they went with another couple. Mm -hmm. So he wanted Jackie to sleep with the girl that was he was going with and Ernie to sleep with the guy that they were going with. She should have at least told you that that's what they were doing. Yeah, I figured she did. it out. No, no. She, yes. Well, well, not, no, nobody had, walked up to me and said, hey, dad. It just. Well, of course, you're not going to just volunteer that information. No, she should have said that she was sleeping, sharing a bed with the girl and that Ernie was oh, sharing Oh, right, bed. exactly. Like, oh, she should have lied then? That. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, <laughs> just actually, yeah, just, that is what just to saying. prevent any yes. worry with you. Well, any look, anxiety. Look, right. I said to them, I said to them, look, all right, you're in the no bone zone. <laughs> no bone. Shut it down. Seriously. I mean, I don't want to have three grandchildren. I mean, seriously. I, I love my grandchildren, but. It's, you don't do it that way. It's supposed to go, I mean, we're dealing with it now and that's okay. I'm not going to sit here and judge, but the, just let's, let's try to keep this, I don't know. Get to college. Yeah. I mean, come on. So, yeah, that was Honduras. <laughs> and then, so I don't, I don't even know where to go with this. I mean, if Jackie were here, I'm going to bring it up. But I just wanted to bring it up here for the world to hear.
Maybe because the rabbit was bugging him or something. I don't know. I'm not trying to make an excuse. I'm just trying to, hmm. Yeah, it's probably better. But if... I'm pretty sure they're not going to bone with well, us I... in the house. So, I mean. Well, I know that. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. It just needs to be a little bit. We need to keep a little bit of the Holy Ghost between them, I think. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so what, you know? what would you Don't you agree, Margaret? Keep room for Jesus. <laughs> what are we going to... Why are you taking your shoes off? Because he's mad. He's just raging. <laughs> so let me ask you this. What if when the time comes, it's not going to be next year because Jackie already has at least on an apartment with three girls. But what... If they say, like, the following year, they say, so we're thinking about getting an apartment together. What are you going to do? There's nothing I can do. She's an adult. She'll be almost 20 by She's then. She's an adult. In my house, though, it's a little different. It's my house. True. It's your house, too. I mean, like, if I died, you'd get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my house, too. Thank you. Um, and right now, you're really the only one who's contributing to the mortgage. So, you've got about a month under your belt. The rest is gone. <laughs> love. But, uh, yeah, so that was crazy. That's... Yeah, I was, I was like, oh, where the fuck's Ernie? Oh, shit. <laughs> and then they saw me. They're, they woke up and they go, hey, I'm just feeding the rabbit. You guys don't mind me. I give you credit for not, like... Freaking out. Well, I figured it would come up later. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to. And he's, you know, and plus he's really hurt right now because his knee got shredded somehow. So, like, I can't even move. So, I didn't want him to have to. So, I was like, I'll deal with this later. I'll deal with this later. So, you're probably watching this now. So, now we don't have to have this talk. You know? So, twin mattress. That'd be cool. Make life easier. No bone so, zone. No <laughs> Okay, uh, Margaret, show producer, what are we talking about now? Uh, fart. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh. Uh, fart. <laughs> One of your favorite words, to <laughs> my knowledge. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What happened? Ah, uh, you know the what happened. The dog farted? Again? This is what happened. Last night, <laughs> word kind of trickles through the house that... A certain woman named, who will remain nameless, named Diana. <laughs> I hear, oh God, I'm a little, oh geez, I'm a little gassy today. Who <laughs> you? Things, oh jeez, oh, this is stinky. <laughs> oh, oh Sue. Oh, oh Sue, that's a poot. Oh boy. Oh, gee, that's so, that was me. Oh, gee, I thought that was a dog. It, and so I'm across the house and I hear these rumblings that there's an issue. Geez, I hope I go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, you know, hockey game. Then nothing mad at her. I heard, Mom, Mom. That's, that's what it was. Oh, Mom, I'm sorry. It's something I ate. <laughs> so, we go to oh, bed. this is terrible. And I say to her, I go, hey, you know, I, I'm, this is, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> We're laying there, and all of a sudden, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Did you gush off of him? It was, <laughs> she goes, she goes... Man, I went. <laughs> and it ruined me. I go, okay. And she starts, she, she pulls the covers back, and it's like it's mixing in the air, but the kind it's like one part per, it's one to one, and a molecule of oxygen and, um, and fart. And it's just right, it's just a. And it would not leave. I, I grab the fan because I see with the fan. I pull it up and I'm aiming it away, and it's not it's not doing anything. And I actually said, 
How did it go? I said, look. You, know, you gotta go. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry, but you have to leave. I actually kicked her out. She had to go sleep in Jackie's room and made her leave because of that, which is unbelievable because I usually am pretty good about that stuff. But I said, we can't have that in the middle of the night. I will throw up my bed and die like Bon Scott from ACDC. I'll choke on my own barf and die right here. Did, she, did, she, did it happen at school? They poo? Yeah. Not at school. You haven't pooed since yeah, last no, night? I had pooed before I went to school. Oh, thank God. You need to get that demon out. You had to. Thank God it's gone. Oh. How was your last poo? Girls don't don't answer that. Yeah, I know they don't, but man, oh. Okay, um, we'll finish up with not a not a bunch of stuff, but let me just announce this first. <laughs> By the way, I had, didn't even notice yesterday when she was snoring. Didn't even notice it till late. In fact, the camera had shut off. Make sure it's still on, Pooh. It is. The camera had shut off when we started talking about her snoring. Thanks to the uh, Dutch mm -hmm. lawn giant for supporting the show. You brought the tree, which I'm going to auction off. Lake Effect <laughs> Property Services. Call about a retaining wall. He says, make them buy retaining walls. If your yard's like mine, you've got a bunch of these stupid walls that are collapsing all over the place and look like a bag of wet balls. <laughs> it's time for you to get it fixed. And it's not the easiest thing, because if you're like me, you'll try to repair it, and then it looks worse. Okay? Um, Call Stewart today. He'll set you up with a retaining wall. Could you make sure this is in the shot? And he wants to pass along all this other information, too, that's very important to him. Yeah, the majority of it's in there. What's, well, it needs to all be in there. You need to move it over a little. Okay. okay. This will be knocked over. Okay. Sasha. Okay, Sasha is a sweet young lady who took photographs for me. Um, we're building the website right now, and I promised her I would say hello. Sasha Wolf Photography. She'll take your picture, she'll make you look handsome, she'll make you look pretty. She's on Facebook, Sasha Wolf Photography. Thank you. Not all hands. And we'll see everybody tomorrow at the Irish Jig. This is a, a race in East Grand Rapids, a 5K. They might have even more than a 5K nowadays, but it's, it's there's, there's like a okay. billion people that are part of this thing. Do you have that Irish hat, that leprechaun hat? I think I saw it somewhere. I don't know what if I doing. find that leprechaun hat, I'll be wearing that Irish hat. And I'm giving out treats at the finish line. You'll be there? Hey, I'll be there. Oh my gosh. Volunteering or something? Mm -hmm. Is that how'd you get into that? Through work. Through Okay, yeah, through through the hospital that sponsors it. Nice. Is there anything you want to cover that we haven't? Any do you have anything about the show? Any thoughts about how what it was anything going on in your brain that you thought of that you said I wanna somehow bring up? At any one point that you can think of from the time when you interned, how when did you start? Um, December of 2012. Oh my gosh. And I was there for almost two years. Really? Yeah. Did you, was there anyone that you dated? There was an almost date. Yeah, that felt. Yeah, that was weird. That, that, was that got weird. really strange. <laughs> he, he just recently stopped working for Town Square because I. Yeah, that was awkward. Yeah, that was weird. It started out with the best of intentions, but it just went, that bit <laughs> went south so fast. For a while, it was playing in the morning um, on the radio pub app. And yeah. I would wake up and that would be playing, and I would just want to go back and yeah. my bed because my face would just be on fire. I was so embarrassed. Oh, no. You know what my biggest regret of the show, um, that, or the thing that makes me sad from time to time, is because there were a lot of really big moments over the years that we had, and the fact that they can't really go back to them anymore, I think is a great, great shame. Um, because, I mean, they're in a tough spot to suddenly just pull out like the baseball palindrome bit mm -hmm. or the sweater bit or my kids ditching the car bit. That, that's or, the best one. You know, I mean, we had a lot of high, high moments. And not to say that they won't have their own high moments. But um, there were a lot of them over the years. Hamster story. Oh, my, my dad. My brothers. Oh, just it goes on and on. And the fact that now it's vanished and I, it's wiped from the records, to me, is, is, makes me really upset. Um, 
I, it just bums me out. And I'm not blaming anybody. I just, ugh, just drives me crazy. So, well, um, but now I've got this new thing, and uh, I'm glad to be part of it. So thanks again, everybody. Uh, people have asked me, they keep saying about radio, radio, radio. When are you going to get radio? Uh, radio is a tricky business. And it is um, sometimes it's, um, you know, not everything goes your way. And this might be the type of thing where radio, um, it might not happen. Uh, I, I haven't, uh, I don't have anything right now. So in case you're wondering um, if there's been buzz and scuttle, I'd just calm down because I haven't heard a damn thing. So we're just going to keep that a little low key. I know I've referenced it time and again, and, and I'm still very hopeful, but um, we'll have to just keep you posted. Okay, have a great weekend. Got anything planned? Anything fun? Um, Other than the Irish jig? And then Irish yeah. town tomorrow. You're Irish what? On Ionia. Irish on Ionia. That, that takes place on the weekend? Yeah. They don't do it on St. Patrick's Day? No. But you be careful out there, because that is a, that is a bash and a drunk fest, and things get out of hand there fast. Yeah. Are you a huge shrinker? No, yeah, she's a party animal. You can tell. I'm, her. Yes. <laughs> well, they do call me Hurricane Margot, but. Okay. You're gonna be with that group that made the signs with me. My nerd herd. Yep. Okay. I love those. <laughs> I love that group. They love you. They are very sweet. Okay, Margaret. Thank you so much. You're thank the best. you for having me. You love are you, love you, love you. We'll have to have her back. I Maybe she can make. So Maybe she can come help us learn how to use your podcast equipment. Like she probably won't know how. Oh yeah, man. I'm gonna need personnel as the time goes on. That's Can't right. pay you. I'll give you a free drink or something, maybe. Maybe you can take a cat home. <laughs> how, how about I give you one of my cats? <laughs> can we just do it that way? Yes, maybe. Okay, see you, everybody. Thanks, guys. Love it. Oh, Bob, one more time. Oh, you didn't stop it, did you? No. Thanks for coming to see me for Tootsie Rolls uh, for, the, uh, for the Knights of Columbus MI drive. A lot of people came out to see That's me on right. Port Sheldon and 28th Street. You guys were great. Is it too late uh, for them to sign up to get a Gwumpki or whatever tomorrow? What? <laughs> I know it probably is my worst habit is I always forget stuff to mention. Um, thank you for reminding me. Um, Skyler's Fight. <laughs> Skyler's Fight Gwumpki. Benefit goes on tomorrow from 5.30 to 11 p.m. St. Peter and Paul School Gym. For this young man named Skyler who is battling stage three lymphoblastic lymphoma, I'll be uh, meeting his family. I can't wait to, uh, wait to meet them, and we'll be auctioning off a spot on this very podcast. So we'll do it there. So come, bring your money, and uh, eat some sweet Polish food. It is a free will offering admission. So um, whatever you can afford, you know, uh, I just want to see everybody, and if at the very least, offer your best wishes to them. And um, yeah, you know, whatever you got. And, bid on that prize. So that is tomorrow. Uh, starts at 5.30. Okay. Um, and again, I forgot to say Saint, uh, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody yesterday too. So I'm late, but you know It wasn't yesterday. It was Wednesday. So you're two days late. No, oh, it was God. yesterday, wasn't it? Wednesday, right? Today's the 18th. It was yesterday. Oh, my fault. It was it was yesterday. Never mind. Oh, yeah. I feel pretty smart, <laughs> don't you there? Yeah. I was thinking it was your, Wednesday. Your stupid fart right in the brain. <laughs> Yes, right. Yes. Okay. Never mind. Bye bye. See ya. See ya.